Hey, credit heroes. Are you ready to turn your credit repair skills into a profitable business? Well, today I'm gonna to give you the blueprint to build your credit repair empire. So you better stick around. My name is Daniel Rosen and welcome to Credit Repair Business Secrets. Last year, 42% of Americans were denied financial products like credit cards or personal loans because their credit scores were too low. Despite what most economists say, most people with low scores aren't bad with money or irresponsible. They're victims of an unfair financial system. They got caught in a debt trap because of medical bills, predatory lenders, or unexpected job loss. Most only realize the impact that bad credit has on their lives after it's too late. But even when they understand how devastating bad credit can be, most don't know how to fix the problem themselves. And that's where you come in. Credit heroes help their clients achieve their financial dreams by cleaning up credit reports and raising credit scores. They change lives every single day and they make a great living in the process. But how do you take your knowledge of credit repair and turn it into a thriving business? You follow a business blueprint. Here's how this relates to us. If you're still new to the world of credit repair, today I'm focusing on how to build a business. So if you need to catch up on some of the basics, I included a free downloadable guide over there in the show notes. This guide covers credit reports, credit scores, your rights under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and seven things to improve credit scores. And at the end of today's episode, if you still have credit repair questions, head over to creditherochallenge.com and sign up for our Credit Hero Challenge. Here's the thing to remember. In order to run a successful credit repair business, you have to understand the credit industry. The credit repair industry has been around since Congress passed the Fair Credit Reporting Act in 1970, which regulates the collection, sharing, and use of consumer credit information. In 1996, Congress passed the Credit Repair Organizations Act, which regulates credit repair businesses and prohibits them from engaging in fraudulent or deceptive practices. And in 2011, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau was established to protect consumers from financial abuse, to promote fair and transparent financial markets, and to help enforce the Fair Credit Reporting Act and the Credit Repair Organizations Act. But even with all these laws and regulatory agencies, consumers are still at the mercy of predatory lenders, big banks, and for-profit credit bureaus. And the need for credit repair has never been greater. Here's why this is important. According to recent studies, the average U.S. household carries over $7,000 in credit card debt. 14 million Americans owe more than $10,000 in credit card debt, and interest rates hit the highest level in 30 years. But even larger than the debt problem is the problem of errors. 79% of all credit reports contain errors. And these errors can happen to anyone. It doesn't matter how good or bad you are with using credit. The whole reason I got into credit repair was because a bank error destroyed my credit overnight. And because of that, I nearly went bankrupt. I almost lost my house. I nearly lost everything. These errors are caused by everything from accidents to incompetence or even identity theft. They can result in lower credit scores, being denied loans or higher interest rates, and that can cost you thousands of dollars over time. This means that millions of Americans need credit repair services, whether they know it or not. So if you wanna seize the opportunity, change lives and make a great living, it's time to follow the blueprint. Here's what you need to know. Step one, master your craft. This isn't just the first step. This is the forever step. In many ways, you are the product that you're selling. People are hiring you because they believe that you can guide them through very personal financial issues and deliver results. So commit to educating yourself. With the right training and software, credit repair is a relatively simple process. But running a business isn't, and there are always new things to learn. 
Successful entrepreneurs take courses, read books, listen to podcasts, they attend conferences and workshops, and training programs to improve their skills and to get better results for their clients. At Credit Repair Cloud, we provide everything that I just mentioned and more. But even if you find your tools and instructions elsewhere, remember, you are the foundation of your business. So master your craft. Step two, review the laws in your state. Credit repair businesses are regulated by both federal and state laws. CROA, the Credit Repair Organizations Act, is a federal law that includes stipulations that will influence how you structure and operate your business. For example, under CROA, credit repair businesses must provide clients with a written contract that their clients must sign. Also, credit repair businesses cannot charge for services in advance. They can only charge for work that's been completed. In addition to CROA, each state has different laws governing licenses, registration, and security bond requirements for credit repair businesses. To review the legal requirements in your state, you can go to creditrepaircloud.com slash all dash states. Step three, create a business plan. A business plan is a map to success where you strategize, organize, and set measurable goals in finance, sales, marketing, and operations. But how do you create a business plan? You do it by answering every business-related question that you can think of. Questions like, what services do I offer? Who are my target clients? What size is my market? Who are my competitors? How many clients do I need to be profitable? This is a massive research and brainstorming session where you outline your entire vision. So the more questions you ask yourself, the more prepared and confident you'll be to run your business. Step four, choose your name. Now that the plan is in place, it's time to take action and choose a name. The name should reflect your personality and should convey confidence. It should be clear, memorable, and professional. When you have a name you like, visit the website of the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office at USPTO.gov to make sure that it's available for registration and check the availability of related domain names. Step five, choose a business structure. Some of the most common forms of credit repair businesses are sole proprietorships, general partnerships, limited liability companies, and S-corporations. Each type has pros and cons. Sole proprietorships and general partnerships don't have limited liability protection, but they're the simplest to set up and least expensive to run. Alternatively, uh, S-Corporation is the most complicated and expensive to set up and run, but they have limited liability protection. So review each business type and select one that makes the most sense for your circumstances. Step six, register your business. After you decide on the name and structure of your business, it's time to register it. So check with your state and county government to see the local regulations for operating a credit repair business. Register for any licenses and permits that they require and secure liability insurance if necessary. The fees associated with these licenses and permits are generally reasonable. And when this step is complete, you will officially own a business. Well done. Step seven, sign up for an EIN. An employer identification number is considered the social security number of your business. It's free to apply for and it never expires. If you're a sole proprietorship or a single member of an LLC with no employees, you are not required to have an EIN. You can just use your social security number in place of the EIN. But if you hope to hire employees one day, an EIN will allow you to do that. It also separates your identity from your business, which helps to separate your personal and business finances. You can apply for an EIN at the IRS website using Form SS4, and I'll add the links over there in the show notes. This form can be mailed or submitted electronically. And once your application is validated, your EIN is assigned immediately. When you get your EIN, you'll need to choose your tax year. This determines your tax cycle. The taxes you pay are determined by your business structure. Step eight, 
open a business account. Opening a business account is pretty simple and it's similar to opening a personal account. Most banks offer business accounts, so shop around to find the best rates and terms that work for your needs. For your bank meeting, bring in your EIN or your social security number, your articles of incorporation, and any legal documents, and open the account. This is another way to keep your business and personal finances separate. Step 9. Develop your marketing strategy. Before you market your business, you need to develop a strategy. This strategy should be flexible. It should include a plan for a strong online presence, networking opportunities, and free, near free, or paid ads. There are plenty of free or near free marketing options that you can use to reach potential clients. Prepare to use social media a lot. Facebook, Instagram, Google, Yelp, YouTube, and others can help you in many different ways. You can also make flyers, host promotional giveaways, and request testimonials from satisfied clients. You can network with professionals in related fields, build relationships with affiliates, and collect referrals. Step 10. Create a thoughtful operation and pricing systems. This is the point where you map out the services you offer, you determine how much you'll charge, and develop standard operating procedures for processing your clients. Your operation and pricing systems will be based on your unique strengths, your organizational style, and your business plan. Just remember to keep your clients in mind when creating these systems, and what's easiest for you might not be best for them. Maximize efficiency with software. Credit repair takes time, patience, and persistence. And if you want to speed up the process and avoid being buried in paperwork, you should incorporate tools for processing payments, billing, and invoicing. Now, I'm a little biased, but Credit Repair Cloud is the number one credit repair software in America, and it provides an all-in-one business platform with automated disputing and recurring billing solutions. It includes a massive dispute letter library, around-the-clock customer support, and additional integrated features that make scaling your credit repair as fast as possible. If you're interested in checking it out, you can sign up for a 30-day free trial at creditrepaircloud.com slash free trial. Get to work! At this point, you should be organized and prepared. You have the blueprint and it's time to execute your plan and turn your vision into a reality. Of course, there's always more to learn and additional steps as you grow, but that's why step one is step one. And here's my final point. Credit repair requires almost no startup costs. It's an easy to scale, remote-friendly business that's recession-proof and helps a whole lot of people in need. So if you want to change lives and make a great living in the process, follow the blueprint and build your credit repair empire. And I'll end by saying, if you want an easy trick to boost credit scores, check out my episode, How to Delete Negative Items from Credit Reports Instantly. And if you'd like to get certified in the disputing process and gain confidence and grow your credit repair business, check out our Credit Hero Challenge. Doors are closing soon, so sign up now at CreditHeroChallenge.com and start changing lives.